<laughs> All right, everyone. Oh God, don't mind my chair. It's about to break. <laughs> but yeah, it is 4 a.m. right now, and I woke up just now and decided to make a video on you know the stat resets. But if you guys haven't seen already, but there's a patch for 11.16, which is like later on in the future. We're at like 11.9 right now, so. So basically, at 11.6, that's where we can reset at any level over 10. And everybody who has an existing file, so if you're playing the game right now, oh my god, what did I select? <laughs> if you're playing the game right now, you'll get like one free reset, so sounds perfect. I wish we had this like sooner though, like sooner the better honestly, but there's a lot of changes going on. but. <clears throat> Currently, we have one point. I mean, eleven point nineteen, right? So it's working towards, you know, version one point twelve. So diving spot is gonna be added, right? Um, it says finish the generation of diving spot, which now connects to sea floor properly. Have randomized features such as kill floor itch. I'm not sure what that means, but basically, items around. <laughs> The ocean diving spot. And it will deal damage and poison when touched it. Oh no. <sighs> sounds rough, but also sounds fun. Because it's supposed to have a set amount of chest and seal chest based on the depth of diving spot. So. That's like just free real estate, honestly. If you can like do it properly, right? Sounds fun. Sounds fun. But yeah. We're just moving on down the list, but. 11.18 is working on diving spot generation. Interesting. I mean, I didn't read this part honestly because it's still pretty new to me, but. Yeah. Currently, only spawning of them is done. Okay, so. Diving spot is beginning to work properly. I mean, more ocean interaction. Just what we need, honestly. But yeah, it says. The loot will depends on the depth they spawn at. So, yeah, the ocean depth is like really, really far down. So that's a little bit crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, it says can be anywhere from sea floor to near the surface. Sea floor ones will require potions to be reached. It. So, I assume potions will also be added later on in the future. So. That's nice, that's nice. Uh, for 11.17, we have some cooking pot at Windrow. Alright, um, interesting. And you no longer have to reset to get Awakening, you just have to use all your points. Or wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it says. I just had to reread it real quick so I don't get confused. But yeah, the plus 10 button. When al allocating stats, change to plus 20 and plus... I hope you can like, be able to change it, but... Yeah, I like the plus 10 so far. Like, clicking isn't a problem for me, but... Um... Not too many changes, that's important I would say. There's some bug fixes, right? Um... It says you only lose 5k renown max from combat logging <laughs> when it's tend to make you lose as much as being hunted. Right, so you're supposed to lose more now? Uh oh. Interesting, interesting. So combat logging would be effective technically right now at least. <laughs> but yeah, now we're back at uh, 11.16. That's the reset thing. And some bug fixes that I didn't read earlier for 11.16. Cutscene error. Oh yeah, that was a pain. They like go through cutscene error so many times. But yeah. And fixed it, reduced damage for using weapon that isn't max upgraded. Even if the weapon's max level is above your current level. Interesting, I mean... And the wording is a little bit weird to me right now. <laughs> Maybe because it's like 4 a.m. 
Oh, Nova. More fixes for weapon. Sounds good. And fixes climbing and swimming in fountain issue. A lot more fixes for bugs. Oh, yeah. The treasure chart counts towards the leader part. Leaders. Exploration progress. Not the player who saw it. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. You're literally like carrying someone by solving treasure map or treasure charts for them. Yeah. Um, fix the flying slash aura. Shark's swim forces are stronger than your ship due to recent bug, which means shark can press your ship down into the sea rarely when trying to swim back down. Okay, I mean basically more bug fixes. I'm gonna see if there's anything crazy important. Um. Yeah, getting the warning sign when selling item that the shop doesn't have enough balance to pay for all items selected will sometimes ignore. Yeah, that happened to me. I'm like, oh, wait, the shop doesn't have balance? I'm like, okay, let me press no. As soon as I pressed no, it just consumed all my item into like nothing. So I got like no arena, no, no money, no nothing. I got scammed basically. So yeah, that got fixed. So that's nice. Um... And then fixed it in building a weapon with heat based magic caused them to steam. Oh, causing steam? We'll use magic's first variation of a magic circle that appears instead of the correct one. Oh, it's talking about the sunken sore, like creating steam. Um. Okay, I mean. Now the magic in building will be like whatever first magic you had. I'm not sure, that's kind of weird. The wording is kind of weird to me. But yeah, no. I just keep reading till we like move to 11.9, I guess. But there's so many fixes, honestly, right now. Um, incorrect texture fixes. Uh huh. Yeah, more ship fixes. Nothing crazy. Some fighting technique fixes and magic aura fixes. Uh huh. Oh, fixed it. If you have some vitality but not enough to be considered a hybrid build with it, you aren't given the vitality damage dealing reduction. What? So, like, 11.14 is. I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like, later on in. Uh. 1.12 You're not supposed to have vitality If you're a build that like doesn't use vitality so I don't think this would be that important but Yeah, basically if you're not <laughs> If you don't have vitality for like warden, right? That's like awakening for like Max health or like paladin which is Vitality and like magic, right? If you don't use any of those or if you're not any of those or something, it will basically not give you damage reduction, which is kind of OP from what I've seen, or what I'm thinking at least. Beyond 11.13 is hand blast reduction in size, improvement for grab detection. Yeah, grab sucks, man. Oh my god. <laughs> and then insanity fixes, in game timer 15. Minutes prior to main game shutdown. Okay, so the vacation. Oh yeah, and here's that fixes for Commander Kai and Architect Merlot farming, right? Which, um, 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 not doing anything crazy right now. Um, anyways, basically you can't hit Architect Merlot and Kai through walls anymore in 11.12 or the next update, basically. But they now give 5,000 Rena when killing it? Holy shit. Alright, somebody's gonna have to find a way to cheese them and let me know, you know? Shh, you know, you can Discord me, and then I won't tell anyone. Shh, you know? Um, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, whenever that happens, uh, we'll see. Gonna start to do some Fane farming. I think I have a coal right now, I don't know. <sighs> Had to drink some water. Waking up with a coal sucks, man. Especially at 4 a.m. Oh. 
Defeating enemies still give you arena if you have over 100k, which is... Well, that's super important. Okay. Still in cargo, say it will display for 50 more galleon than it actually does. I'm not sure that what that means, but okay. Um, Grand Navy despawn when their target's killed to reduce lag, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Fixes some item issue. Oh no, fruit and herbs in permanent spawn location now takes four times longer to respawn than players nearby. Yikes. Okay, and now we have the recent changes, right? That's where the 1 million exploits and whatever exploits get fixed. Meanwhile, kill aura still exists. Um, yeah, I'm, I met well, a kill aura explorer today. Kind of crazy. Um, not much going on. Diving spot sounds cool. The potion part sounds cool. Commander Kai and Merlot fixes and some stat resets. That's probably like the most important, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um, hopefully we get the update faster for like stat reset because I know a lot of people need it. So I might go back to sleep. Uh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day, guys. Oh. And don't burn yourself out. <laughs>